Hi, my name is Luca, I'm from Demic Design and I'm going to show you how to measure angle of attack on your centerboard and why it's actually so important to get this right. Um, really the reason is that um, if this is in its correct position, the rest of the setup will not ultimately work with it. So you'll be chasing your tail trying to figure out is it the dial or the gearing adjuster that's out of whack, uh, when in fact your problem is right here with your centerboard. So the best way to measure the angle of attack is actually to download an iCandy level application on your smartphone. Um, and then you need to define where the zero degrees point is on your hull. Now this is a custom boat, so for me, uh, my neutral position or zero degrees is in front of the centerboard case, roughly about there. But if you have a Mark II, you will find that it's directly behind the centerboard case. It will be right here. So what you need to do is zero in at that point to define zero degrees uh, relative to Shilan on your hull. Okay, so what you will need is an angle measuring device, which you can acquire from Demic Design websites. Um, what that does is, if, in effect, it actually um, keeps the flap in the neutral position. So what I have done is I've taken my phone from the um, zero position on the hull, and I have transferred it on top of the template. And I'll, what I'll do is now slide this back, all the way back, so it locks into the foil. And now I can see what angle of attack I'm actually running. Uh, what I've got here is 0 0.5 degrees positive angle of attack. I would recommend anywhere from 0 to 1.5 degrees um, for your optimal settings for the Masita and the Swift Hydrofoils. Now that we have defined angle of attack on your centerboard and we know that's correct, the next thing is to actually get out on the water, sail, to work out where you want your gearing and your right height adjuster. That's something we'll cover in the future videos.